I was appointed to this position in 1990 by President Bush. Let me be frank about what we are finding. There are instances where CIA did not, in an expeditious or consistent fashion, cut off relationships with individuals supporting the Contra program who were alleged to have engaged in drug trafficking activity or take action to resolve the allegations. Would you just tell me what uh, were the CIA's legal and regulatory responsibilities from 79 to 96 regarding the reporting of potential crimes and the maintenance of relationships with persons that were suspected in the involvement of drug, tra drug trafficking in the Los Angeles areas? I think uh, just before you arrived, I spoke to a rather odd history there. Uh, in point of fact, um, the period of 82 to 95 was one in which there was no official requirement to report on allegations of drug trafficking with respect to non-employees of the agency, and they were defined to include uh, agents, uh, assets, uh, non-staff employees. That has since been changed since 95. Did you uh, interview any of the following? Uh, Gary Webb? No, we did not. Sandra Smith? I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Who was that Sandra Smith you Sandra said? Sandra Smith is the lead-off DEA agent in the first of the Dark Alliance stories, the alleged source of the beginning of this. No, we did not. I want to read this again. There are instances where CIA did not, in any expeditious or consistent fashion, cut off relationships with individuals supporting the Contra program who were alleged to have engaged in drug trafficking activity or take action to resolve the allegations. Did, was, was there an effort to try and interview Oliver North or any of the other principals uh, involved during the uh, Reagan administration in the Iran-Contra affair? We did not uh, seek to interview uh, Oliver North. Was he ever questioned on this subject? No. No, he was not. I, I would urge that, you know, that, that it sounds like he'd be one person I think we ought to go interview, or maybe this committee may have to interview him. But uh, because of the, of the incredible lengths he went to fund this operation. Correct. Uh, the letter came from uh, what appeared to be Contra support groups, or on behalf of Contra support groups, and one of the signatories uh, we mistake, the agency mistakenly identified as that of a, uh, an asset. Uh, it was a, a Hispanic name that uh, was remarkably close to uh, uh, the name of a, uh, an agent that had uh, worked for us. In the event, uh, as it was, as you suggest, a case, case of mistaken identity. The other signatory, Mr. Avilas, was known to us, and though he was not a CIA agent, uh, he was known to have hold a position in a Contra support group. So, not having uh, 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 been able to uh, locate the, the, act, the lawyer who was actually involved in this and therefore not being able to speak to his, mind, his or her mindset, it appears what they were trying to do was to protect the identity of the Contra support uh, group's connection and uh, 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 in that way, uh, uh, see if they could keep it from being revealed. There is a gentleman named uh, Gomez, Ivan Gomez, who your report indicates that, in fact, uh, I guess was a contract employee of the CIA. Is that correct? Yes, but I think if I recall correctly, and I'm asking my associate here to find it, I think there was a mistaken identity with respect to... Gomez as well, wasn't there, Rick? Well, I want to get to that. That's the yeah. point me asking this question here. <laughs> You've indicated that your investigation has found instances where CIA did not expeditiously and consistently cut off relations with individuals supporting the Contras who were alleged to have engaged in drug trafficking. Did any of these allegations involve trafficking in the United States? Yes. Allegations of, of CIA involvement in the introduction and distribution of crack cocaine as, as alleged in the Mercury articles are very, very serious and it, it, it really created a firestorm. And in minority communities, it immediately generated comparisons to the uh, Tuskegee syphilis study, uh, which uh, of course, you know, where, where African Americans were uh, injected with the syphilis 
uh, germs and, and were left untreated uh, for purposes of, uh, of, of study. And uh, to inject this kind of a communicable disease into our community uh, is horrible and it's terrible. It's a terrible thing for the government to do. Uh, and in this day and age, the introduction of drugs or the allegations of the introduction of drugs, uh, crack cocaine into our community is equally uh, as bad and reprehensible and we certainly uh, feel it appropriate uh, that this committee and uh, the agency and all interested parties uh, uh, really get to the bottom of it and I commend you for the effort. Now we all know that the U.S. government and the CIA supported the Contras and their efforts to overthrow the Sandinista government in Nicaragua in the middle 80s. Now it is alleged that the CIA also helped the Contras raise money for arms by introducing crack cocaine into California. <laughs>